doing? Just fine. Be seeing you. Take care. Zounds, it's you, Jane. How are you this day? As creative as ever, but fatigued by that same creativity. The curse of the prolific artist. Here, let me recite to you my latest poem. I'm sure that will be enlightening. Here is a latest sample of my inspiration. I see her in the April showers. I see her stand and stare. I hear her beauty in the bells. I hear her gasp for air. Then in the sunlight she is caught. And that is sweet and fair. There's not a bonny hat with strings, but messes up her hair. There are no words. Exactly so. A true expression of my inner self. And yet, it has a bonny air about it that is familiar. Such is the case with all great poetry. It stirs the same passions. Yes, it does evoke something. Speaking of evoking, there is nothing quite so evocative as an ornamental hermitage. What? An ornamental hermitage. It is quite the thing this season. In fact, no great estate can be truly complete without one. Where did you hear of this? That is one of the benefits of traveling extensively. When I was last at Bath, they have pamphlets on all things de rigueur. Here, I have one on ornamental hermitages that I can give you. Once you have studied it, I am sure you will be convinced that Pimberley cannot exist without one. You are a constant source of amazement, Clement. Amazement is my speciality. I am off to study this pamphlet and fully expect to be all astonishment. No doubt, creativity calls. My dearest Jane, something has come up and your father needs the date on the will of Mr. Lamley. The will is located in the library with your father's business papers. All Papa needs is the date, so if you could put that in a note and get it into the post today, that would be perfect. Also, I found a charming book on horsemanship that I thought you would love, so I have sent it on ahead as I could not wait for you to have it. Love, Mama.
I'm so glad Mama sent this book. I love horses. I should go and get that date right away. It is a relief to see Clement is occupied elsewhere. There are several things I want to check on. Here's the date, May 27th, 1796. So his son was in India when he made his will. It says here the executor is to retain the estate for five and twenty years in the event his son or heirs cannot be located. After that time, the estate is to go to his nephew. <gasps> My Naguta! His nephew is Clement! This jewelry must be part of the Mr. Lamley estate. This is a beautiful brooch, but it looks like a piece of it is missing. In fact, this looks like it is a companion piece. Now I have to get this date in the post for Papa. I wonder why he needs it. Thank you. 